relevant research. This relevant research follows the clinical prediction rule that we've already discussed. Uh, and the, it is the same reference. So first the diagnostic piece, then the treatment piece. The article is Diagnosis and Treatment of Cervical Radiculopathy Using a Clinical Prediction Rule and a Multimodal Intervention. It was in JOSPT by Waldrop in September of 06. Uh, so once you've realize that they truly have a cervical radiculopathy, what the authors then say is if you use this treatment approach, you will get good success. And I love what they said because it's something that I've really believed in and, and really have liked doing with my patients who have neck pain. Number one, postural education. And I can't stress that enough. Um, I watch therapists teaching patients you know, how to do cervical isometrics, and they're doing them like this. The person has a forward head, and they're telling them to resist or move, and they're resisting like this. Now, when you do that, you're resisting the abnormal head position. So just like Pilates or any time we're learning about proper body position, therapists need to be the coach. You need to sit there and say, all right, pull that head back. Get into good retraction. Hold your head in this position. Then do your isometrics. Then do your reading. Do your work. Do your driving. One of my favorite things is to say to my patients, put your head on the headrest uh, in your car while you're driving and really try to work on that neck retraction. So postural education. Secondly is thoracic joint mobilization. You know, I took all those mobilization courses and, you know, we worked on mobilizing the cervical spine. I think it's too loose. What the problem is is the thoracic spine is too tight, all right? Let that cervical spine get stronger and stabilize and work on, that, on those thoracic mobs to give the additional freedom that our patients need. Uh, the exercises that are encouraged in this study, retraction, we already mentioned that, rotation and extension, again, always in good position, contralateral side bending, and endurance and strengthening of the deep neck flexor muscles. Uh, so, in other words, your retraction, you can do retraction with sit-ups just of the head to really get those muscles stronger. If you really want to get fancy, you can use, you know, your TheraBand and pull, again, in the proper position, in all the different positions with resistance. You can use weighted equipment. You can use beach balls, whatever you like, to get that good resistance in there. And then the final suggestion they have is initially, when the person's really painful, intermittent traction with ice. Now, again, I use it initially, but after a while, um, I really want to get them independent, and we go towards the, the exercise piece of it. So there's the research. Use it.